Hey folks, Dave Dienard here with Dabu Design. So I've had a number of questions about these standoffs that I use. Uh, I've used different ones uh, that you may have seen me uh, uh, have in certain videos here. I used to use acorn nuts, uh, but now I've actually moved on to these. So I'll, I'll cover how I make these here in a second. But let's go ahead and move over to the laser and uh, and look and see what the real use case is for these. So what's really nice about these is I've got uh, about 40 of them. So I've got quite a few. They're magnetic, which is really nice. I can set them in place. I can move them under the material. And uh, if it's material that I've already used, I can make sure that I've got them in just the right spots to support what I'm going to cut out and what I want to just not have shift once something gets cut away. So you can see how quick and easy that is. It's easy to go ahead and get those lined up and shifted around for the piece of particular material I'm working on at that moment. So uh, without further ado, let's go through the process of making these. We'll just rotate you around here real quick. So first thing up, need the magnets. Here's the magnets I'm using. These magnets are uh, 10 millimeter in diameter and they're quarter inch tall. So um, that turns out to be what? 6.25 uh, millimeters tall. Then I'm using these uh, little uh, clothing adornments that you can use for uh, making yourself look rough. Little punk spikes like we used to have when I was a kid. So that's what those look like. These come with some screws. Just toss those aside. We don't need those. The screws that we do need are an M3 screw. Uh, these are 10 millimeters long. So we want the M310s is what we want. I'm just going to couple of those out and we'll go ahead and pull these magnets out of the bag. So the really nice thing about these magnets, and it took me a while to find them, is they have, they're, they're 10 millimeters in diameter. These are 10 millimeters in diameter. They marry up perfectly. The other really cool thing about these magnets is they already have a countersink in them. So when I put this M3 screw in here, it's already countersunk. So it's not going to scratch across the surface of the bed. We're going to have full magnetic connectivity right there on the bed. All you have to do is take the spike. The magnet holds the screw in. Uh, you just have to have the fingers hold the parts. Just screw that in there like that. We'll grab our Allen wrench and tighten that down. And you're done. You've got yourself a easily adjusted uh, magnetic spike that you can put on your bed. Now these work on both the honeycomb beds as well as the steel plate. Really nice part about these is that when I'm done with a job and I need to clean up, and I use a steel plate. That's all I use is steel plate. I don't use the honeycomb. Pull these spikes off. If the spikes are dirty and need a little cleaning, I can leave them there. And uh, spray me a little isopropyl down here. And just wipe the spikes. Get all the burnt debris off of them. Pick them up, sit them to the side. I'm mean, a clean bed and a clean laser is uh, is pretty critical for 
consistent work, consistent quality, making sure that uh, your machine's just working and uh, you can minimize your downtime. Go ahead and wipe this bed down. And when we're ready to get back at it again, pull those out, pop them down, and we're ready to go. All right, hope you guys liked it, and we'll talk more later. Thanks.